Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Joe and Lisa with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. We have a wonderful expat interview for you today. She's a good friend of ours, and I think you're going to enjoy this. Lisa's going to interview her. I'm going to be behind the camera. Hope you'll enjoy it. Stay tuned. Okay, today we're switching it up a little bit. I'm going to interview my good friend Phyllis here, and we're going to just have fun with it because Joe left us in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so, Phyllis, where'd you originally come from? Um, originally from Long Island, but I grew up in Northwest New Jersey, and I lived in Syracuse for a number of years, and that's where I came from immediately prior to moving to Vilcabamba. So you're used to crazy people. Yes. <laughs> okay. So have you seen any weird people here in town? Oh, wait. I mean, have you seen any of the little green friends of ours? <laughs> Just on the videos. <laughs> <laughs> None in the, no bright lights at night. No, I have not. Okay. So how long have you been here in well, Vilcabamba? A little over two years. I uh, moved in early November uh, two years ago, so. So you've got your permanent residency. Yes, I do. Ooh, -hoo. big Very, milestones. Yes, yes it is. So citizenship is next, but that's quite a ways off. <laughs> got to get that Spanish down. Oh my gosh, I'm working so hard on that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do for a li what did you do for a living? Uh, um, I did, I was a writer, uh, co-author, uh, ghost writer, editor, and before that I had a life in the fitness world, uh, training other people, fitness classes, and that kind of thing, and I love both. But now I am, as of this year, I am retired, uh, unless something really interesting comes along. Oh, isn't it great when you can really pick the interesting, fun stuff to do? Yes, yes, and it's quite a treat, quite different, and it's a different pace than working you know, nonstop, full speed ahead, and oh, I, yeah. I, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, so. So here in Vilcabamba, do you have, um, what do you do to fill your day? Oh gosh, well the days fly by just like they used to when I was working nonstop, and I'm amazed at that, but, and I'm moving more slowly, enjoying my life more, I do hiking with a couple of friends. Um, once a week, I walk on my own. Sometimes I walk to town. It's, you know, four and a half, five miles. It's not yeah. too bad because it's all downhill. I get a taxi coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just love exploring and knowing the people and social things. Um, there's so much to do here. I, you can choose to participate or not in whatever mm -hmm. things you want to. Um, just explore. Um, that's kind of what I did, kind of test the waters. And of course, I belong now to a wonderful photography club. Mm. <laughs> so my passion for, uh, for the camera has been ignited in a different way. I've always taken pictures before, but now I know why, uh, why I like what I do like. And I know I'm learning to yeah. make them better. So I'm really excited about that and just wonderful friends and just enjoying, looking out my window, enjoying the beauty that's everywhere. Yeah, it does. It takes you a step away from the chaos of the world just to to live in the middle of all this beautiful, beautiful plants and animals and everything that we have here. Oh, and the mountains are just, they're just breathtaking. It's just like, I always, the verse, the, um, my father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And it just always, I look out my window and I see the cattle <laughs> on the hill. And there's so many mountains and hills and it's just, it's just wonderful. Yeah, I never get, I never get tired of looking at it. Yeah. The view is there every day and I haven't gotten tired. Yeah, me neither. So did you have any challenges here, living here or moving here and away from the U.S.? To coming here? Yeah, I would say so. Um, it was the decision to move was a little difficult, giving up my things, my way of life, my comfort zone. That was, yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm a renter, not a buyer. Um, so I, you'd think I wouldn't have as much stuff, but I have things with me from my, you know, from my childhood and, you know, photographs and just things that we all have different things that mean different things to us, but mm. that was emotionally difficult, but I knew that I wanted to do it, and I knew that it was time. I was 68 at the time, and it was kind of like now or never, you know? It's like stop thinking about it, either do it or don't do it. Jump or don't jump. Yeah, so I, I did an exploratory trip um, May 
two, two and a half years ago, and I just fell in love with it from the moment I landed. Yeah, and so how was your visa process? Simple. I went with Isabel Muscara. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's just amazing. I highly recommend her to everyone. She got my visa. She told me what I needed. I got everything I done. She did everything for me here. Just came and showed up. Same thing with my cedula mm -hmm. and my permanent visa. Yeah, so. we found it that easy too when yeah. we worked with her. Yeah. So yeah, I think when it's citizenship time, mm -hmm. that's where I'll go too. Do you think there's anything in your process of moving or in your time here that people need to know or to hear about um, that may be considering moving here to Vilcabamba mm -hmm. or to Ecuador? Yeah, there's quite a few things. It, it's a different life, different lifestyle, different mm -hmm. culture, different, different people. I absolutely love them. Um, but like anywhere, there's uh, high points and then things that aren't so great about it. Walking, I lived in town for about a year and a half first before moving here to this, my, <laughs> I consider my idyllic home, um, in the mountains. And while the closeness to everything, the stores and the tiendas, everything, and restaurants in town were, were uh, wonderful, you have to get used to the number of dogs that are loose on the streets all the time. Um, in town, they're all friendly, I found. Uh, they're, they leave their stuff on the sidewalks. The horses leave their stuff on the sidewalks. Um, sometimes, you know, the mules or donkeys, whatever, and in the middle of the streets, the noise in town. So location is important and, again, just different. Um, I would highly recommend not bringing there here. Yeah. Um, I think that's a big mistake. Don't expect things to be the same here as they are there. It's in many, for me, for me, it's perfect. It's way better. Um, in so many ways, I didn't like the politics and the social, the way the social things were going mm -hmm. in the states or and all over the world. But give people a chance here, but be aware that. And what do I want to say? Kind of like California, land of fruits and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of that, and there's a reason that people are attracted here. There are, um, and and things are different. But uh, I think the locals are typically very friendly, mm -hmm. but we do still have a bit of a crime scenario. And I, I can't say that's here all the time, but everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's different. Yeah. But it is. do you feel safe living? Oh, I do. Absolutely. I feel safer here than I did in uh, Syracuse, New York. Um, absolutely. You know, just a little bit of common sense. You know, I, I spent a lot of time, um, my youth in New York City, not my favorite place, but you learn to be, you know, to know where your things are, where you are, who's around you, and mm -hmm. and that, and that's just a common sense. It's not a paranoia. You know, if you own, you do want security. I mean, that's just, again, common sense yeah. to me. I think if you own or if you rent, Probably security, you need to check it out either way. Agreed. So, yeah. yeah. So, anything else you think people should know? Long <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> pause. Um, just consider visit first. Probably don't buy the first year or year and a half. Get to know people, get to know mm. the right realtors, people that you can trust. Because there's, of course, like anywhere else, there's both kinds. Mm -hmm. um, just be be cautious, be wise, um, but come enjoy the beauty and um, yeah, experiment. See again, it's not not everybody who comes here likes it or stays here. A lot of people, a lot of us do. <laughs> yeah, you have to come and you have to integrate into the culture a bit. Yeah, but I think there's a lot of gringos, so you don't have to. Um, mm know Spanish right off the bat, but to get involved and to have more Ecuadorian friends, learning a little bit more Spanish helps a lot. Absolutely. And they appreciate it. Even when you try, when I'm struggling in the tienda or say a word that didn't mean what I thought it meant, <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh. Uh, and you they know. laugh with you. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, all good? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's about it for now. And we will wrap this up and see you next time. You know what to do. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe, and share.